bright and early in lower Beachmont. Um, the scenario here is we're on our way to a lady's house who apparently has an Eastern Brown inside her house. Now that's not entirely impossible because this particular, her neighbour has already sent me photos of a snake that she had on a veranda the other day and it was a young Eastern Brown and um, this particular lady that we're going to now seems to think that it's the same snake. Having said that, at Lower Beach, you get brown trees, keelbacks, uh, rough scales, young carpets, brown colour green trees, all sorts of stuff. So, one reason why this lady may be adamant <coughs> that it's a brown snake <coughs> is yesterday, Arvo, a man here in Surface Paradise, got bitten by a brown snake. Now that doesn't surprise me, I'm surprised it's taken so long to happen because there's plenty of them down there. But um, what happens as soon as the media, and the media are just throffing over this, I've already done two radio interviews and, and about to do a TV interview after this, um, the public, anyone who's got a phobia of snakes gets quite concerned and we get what I call the hysteria calls. I get calls to sticks and thongs and caterpillars and all sorts of shit and everything we get called to, even if it's a fluoro blue blue tongue, people say it's a brown snake. Everything's going to be a brown snake today or for the next couple of days. Now the scenario behind the bite on the beach, about 10 or so years ago, um, I got called to the beach to remove a snake, said there's a problem, I had a look around, I caught like five snakes in a half an hour, I thought shit, yeah there is a problem. Since then, places like the Sheridan, I had removed over 800 snakes out of there, uh, Plaza Versace, uh, Sea World, Sea Ordinara, all of those down there on the spit, I've removed heaps of snakes. Now the very first building after the one kilometer of Sorry, the three kilometres of beach there at the spit, or three kilometres of bush, I should say, um, is the Sheridan. And the snakes used to get to about two or three years old, start to change from eating skinks to mice, and then they start moving. And they'd move south looking for a place to live where there's more mice. And the Sheridan was on the front line. The poor buggers used to have to call me all the time. They were footing the bill, and it cost them a shitload over the years. And I'm talking that it had to be up near $100,000 now. Because what, at one stage years ago, I did calculate it, it was $85,000 that I'd known of. Um, so that was about five or six years ago. So I can imagine a lot more now. Anyway, um, now the Sheridan finally took my advice a couple of years ago, about three years ago, and they totally circumnavigated the property and really, really fine wire. I suggested the vermin wire, but they put the stainless steel stuff and they painted it black and put it around the bottom of their property and it actually looks quite good and it stops all the snakes from getting into the Sheridan itself. So instead of them getting 60 or 70 snakes a year, um, they now get five or six and most of the snakes they get are climbing snakes like carpet pythons and stuff that can climb over the fence. I always said, <laughs> now as the snakes go south they're going to bump into the Sheridan and go around the Sheridan. They'll go past Golden Door and they'll end up on Main Beach. And for the last couple of years I've been saying, oh, I'm surprised no one's been bitten yet. Just the other day on Facebook, a friend of mine had her baby sitting there on the on the broadwalk. I messaged her saying, don't let him dangle his legs there. There's heaps of snakes there. And, there. and all of the people that were reading that thread are going, are you serious? Is it that bad? Here we are two days later, a bloke's been bitten. I heard on the radio earlier on <coughs> that years ago there was a problem, there's not anymore. It's exactly the same as it was years ago. There's no more, there's no less. It's just managed differently. Um, so we'll see what happens this season. It's only just really kicking into spring. So when it gets to summer and we get those 30 odd degree days every day, that's when it usually cranks with the Eastern Browns. So we've still got a couple more months, another three months before it picks up and gets right into it. We'll see how this year pans out. And I can see that it's probably gonna be a bit of an issue. But anyway, 600 meters away from this lady's house. Let's have a look, eh? Too many eastern browns up here because it's very highly elevated as you can see but they are up here i do get photo people sending me photos all the time even friends and family that live up here send me photos and go oh shit, it is an eastern brown which sort of surprises me a little bit all right so we want number 50 something destination 
Station on the right. 54 Tower in the road. Okay, so while I'm busy trying to find my pad, I've gone past it. But they've got a U turn pad for me. Oh, let's keep going. It looks like fun down there. Now, this lady's been standing there watching it, and she called me at Vegemite Hour when school was on. So it literally took me an hour or so to get here. Up there where she is up top, it guaranteed is not an Eastern Brown. Because Eastern Browns don't climb. Which uh, green one. It's only a little one. Morning, how are you? Oh, that's okay. Nah, uh, you're right. I was up. It took me ages to get through the traffic and I had to stop in the two radio in interviews. Yeah, that that's alright. Um, I did what you told me to, but yep. he still got yep, out, yep, yep. so I kept an eye on him. Yep, yep. And the last time I saw him was down in that far corner. Yep. Well, there's he a card for future reference. Could be rolled underneath things. Underneath that mat with the blue trimming. If he's up here, he's not a cat. Um, so if he's not up here, he's not an Eastern Brown, sorry. Oh, really? Yeah, Eastern Browns normally don't climb unless, of course, your cat. That's why I said the word cat. Your cat brought it in. We haven't got a cat. Well, then it's not an Eastern Brown. So you reckon it's in these... At that corner. That's the last I saw him in that little box. Yeah, in there. It's fairly long, so if, he's, if you can't see him there, he won't be there. I just wanted to make sure he didn't go to the other side of the room. Yep. At least you kept an eye on it. Quite often people walk away and then... Yeah, now we've had a few lessons with snakes. Um, you've rather got the one down in... Um... Oh my giddy on! Oh, you got... Oh. It's a green tree snake. He's a harmless green tree snake. Oh. Worst thing about him is he's got a yucky smell. Yeah. And he's putting that off right now. I'll put him in there before he makes me smell like that all day. <laughs> 